Welcome back. We can import a document into Canva. For example, one way to do it would be to go to this create a design area, which you'll then see in your bottom menu is there's going to be an element here where we can import a file. What we have now done is we have imported an existing Microsoft Word document. What we're now going to do inside of Canva is we're going to click on top of this document so that we can begin working with it. What we can now do is we can begin working with the document element. For example, what we can do here is we can create a space. We're going to use our magic menu. We can then use the magic right menu. We can also add in a design. We can add in elements that we have available inside of Canva Docs, such as creating a specific heading. And we can now create our heading. And we can use the WYSIWYG editor. So we can go back, we can highlight and delete an element from our Canva doc. We can come back to our magic menu. We can add in a subheading. You'll notice here that we have body text. So if we wanted to add additional body text, we could do it. If we want to embed HTML elements, we could do it. And there are additional elements that you can add to your Canva doc. For example, you can add in a table. We can click this area that says table. We can determine how big we want the table to be and the dimensions. And once we do that, then Canva will enter a table that we can use inside of our doc. And of course, we can then place content inside of this table. There are certain elements that you may be familiar with if you've ever used a spreadsheet that you can do with a Canva table. And you'll see some of those elements here when you click on the ellipsis next to the table. That's possible you may decide that you don't want the table. We're going to place our cursor here and we're going to backspace and we're going to delete the table. What we're now going to do is we're going to place our cursor here. We're going to pull up the magic menu again. This time we're going to insert a checklist and we're going to click on checklist. And basically this is where you can add elements to a checklist. Once you have completed the first element of the checklist, you're going to click the enter button. That's going to give you access to another part of the checklist. And what you're going to do is you're going to click the button again and then you're going to see other elements of the checklist. And you will have added a checklist to your Canva doc. What we're going to do is we're going to place our cursor here and we're going to backspace. And when we backspace, we're going to delete the checklist. We're going to stop the video here and we're going to pick it up from entering elements into the Canva doc. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.